Welcome back to GB Guns. We got another box from Walther. It's been a while. Very excited. You may know if you're a Walther fan that these bigger full cases tend to only come with certain guns. We have the Q4 TAC. We'll be taking a look at it next on GB Guns. This is the Q5 match. PPQ frame with a 5 inch barrel, lightened, and cut out for optics. Comes with three different plates to run it. This is a competition level gun, excellent gun, um, dead nuts accurate, we've really enjoyed it. But a lot of people wanted something that had some of these features but not quite as competition laid out. That's where the Q4 tech comes in. So here we have inside the box of the Q4 TAC. As you can see the layout is pretty much the same and I picked up this one used so it was missing the rear sight and has a duplicate doctor sight plate. Um, it's missing the Trijicon sight plate but fortunately my Q5 match has the extras because you can't run all of it at once so no big deal there. We'll take a look at the gun in a second. I want to show you what else comes in this case. Gun is clear Drop the mag. So we've got two magazines with the extension on them, giving you plus two, so it's 17 round. Standard 15 round. Two additional back straps. We've got the mag loader. Clearly labeled plates. You can see that says doctor sight on it. Loophole delta point. We have our clear chamber indicator tools for swapping out the plates, uh, including a longer set of screws if needed. Of course, the trigger lock as required by federal law. And then up top, hopefully the previous owner left everything in here. Yeah, of course we get our uh, firearm safety thing. Um, this is a really smart move. This recoil spring, color coded, is a different weight for when you're running suppressed to help the gun run better suppressed. Here's our manual. Full color. Clear photos. Very nice manual. And one of my favorite things with Walther's is the target. Test target. This one was done from 15 meters. That's five shots. Not bad. What I do find it interesting though is this grouping is not quite as tight as the one on my Q5 which of course longer sight radius and longer barrel probably going to be better but that's still pretty darn good for 15 meters. Alright let's get this out of the way and we'll take a look at the gun. Of course as always we start off by showing clear, nothing in the chamber and removing the magazine and this is where I like to find out does the magazine eject or release. Turning it vertical, we get some hop at an angle where you can see that. That's ejection, and I prefer it because that little bit of assistance sometimes helps, uh, especially if any dirt or crud gets in there. You can see this grip fills the hand nicely. I've got plenty of room without the pad on the extension, but if hands were even larger or a quick grab out of the holster, that's still going to give you a little more to pull on. So coming around the front of the gun, we see we've got a thread protector on here. It is threaded for running a suppressor. These sights, however, are not suppressor height. I was a little uh, surprised by that, but it means that this runs just fine without a suppressor, or if you have one of those flush mounting cans like the Orion, uh, then you don't have to worry about it. Barrel's locked in good and tight. We have some slide play, slide to frame up front. There's our cogging serrations. Got three slots of rail. Serrations on the front of the trigger guard. Rather simple looking slide. Bit of relief here underneath for large hands like mine to be able to fit up and nice. The uh, ergonomics and trigger are always the two things I love about Walther's. Slide release, good and long, so anybody can reach it. I mean, heck, my thumb almost overshoots it. And it's on both sides, so lefties don't have to worry about that. The magazine release is reversible. 
If you look at the texture on the grip, it's a very nice texture. Gives you a little bit of grip, but it's not aggressive. And of course, interchangeable back strap coming around the back side of the gun, looking at slide to frame fit. A little bit of movement. Here's our fully adjustable rear sight and fiber optic front sight. Nice clean square notch. Should make for easy precise aiming. And all you gotta do is remove those two screws, pop this sight off to mount up a reflex sight. For comparison's sake, I'll bust out the Q5 match once more. That's what it looks like. We've got a burst fast fire mounted on this one. But you can see, two guns are very similar. Just a bit shorter on the uh, Q4 tack, aside from the extension for threads to be able to run a suppressor on there. Next up, we'll field strip and take a look inside the gun. Before I field strip, of course, everybody wants to know, is it, how is that trigger? Is it classic Walther? So we'll show clear. Now I don't do weight because weight isn't as important as feel. Goes back, there's a click there. That's the wall. Little more movement and it breaks. See the reset. Very positive. And breaks again. This would be an easy trigger to shoot quickly. Nice trigger. All right, so field stripping. I've got nice broad takedown levers. See that on both sides of the gun. You pull back a little bit, drop, pull the trigger, and the slide comes off. Now, of course, to get the barrel out, well, maybe. Typically, you have to remove the thread protector. It might fit through there. We'll see. No, it's not going to fit. So you got to remove the thread protector before you can get the barrel out. This one's a little gummed up. Whoever shot this last didn't clean it much. Ooh, that was on there. Tight. Plenty of long threads. You can see there is not a target crown on there. At least not much of one. Get our barrel out. Now let's take a look inside the frame. We've got metal reinforcement for the rails. And everything else looks like a PPQ. You can see that the slide release has a solid bar going through both sides. That's probably what allows the uh, right side to work. There have been some guns recently where there was slack between these, like if you try to push up on one and down on the other, you get a lot of play, and that results in uh, one side usually not being very productive. Looking inside our slide, slide is dirty, but I don't see any real machining marks. Just some friction there. Very clean, standard Walther quality. This barrel is filthy. Let me wipe it off real quick. There you go. Wiped it off and now you can see the feed ramp has some polish to it. Also, extends quite a bit and has some sort of guides on the side. That ought to aid in feeding reliability through different uh, types of rounds and different conditions. We'll check chamber support as always using our Nosler 115 grain match. This is the same stuff we group with and in our test it's proven to be the most consistent drop it in there and you can see our chamber is fully supported all the way around. That's something reloaders like because weaker brass has a little more support. Outside of that, range lower is the rest but you know I'd rather have it than not have it. So that is the PPQ Q4 TAC, the latest model out from Walther. We'll get it out to the range and run it through our multi-load test. We're going to run the lightest ammo we have through the heaviest ammo we have. We'll run full magazine plus one to make sure that these magazines do function properly in the gun. And then uh, we'll shoot some groups and let you know what we think of the gun. 
looks like standard Walther quality, I'm expecting good things. What about you guys?